The scope and the limitation of the study are two important elements of a research paper or thesis. How it will be written? Well, it will be the focus of our discussion today. Stay tuned! channel. This is Dr. Lorna C. Velasquez. Before we start, kung bago ka pala sa aking YouTube channel, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Alright, so since we're not yet done with chapter 1 today, our focus will be on the scope and the limitation of the study. We will begin by unlocking the difficulties. What do you mean by scope? Well, in research, the word scope refers to the extent to which the research area will be explored. Another, it explains the parameters within which the research study will be operating or the range of operation. On the other hand, the limitations refers to the characteristics that limit the scope and describe the boundaries of the study, such as sample size, geographical location or setting in which the study will take place, population traits, and others. Also, it aims to narrow the scope of the study. Now, how are you going to write the scope and the limitation of the study? The following are the tips. Tip number one, write a short introduction. For the scope, you may use these phrases. The scope of this study will be, this study will cover, this study will focus on, the study will consist of. So, these phrases will be useful in writing a short introduction in the scope of your study. On the other hand, the following phrases can help you in writing the short introduction of your delimitation. The study will be limited to. This study is confined to. The study will not cover the. So, please take note that you need also to write a short introduction in your delimitation of the study. Tip number two. Your scope and delimitation of the study must answer the following questions. What, who, where, and when? Step number three. You need to make as clear as possible what you will be studying and what factors are within the accepted range of your stay. For example, if you are studying the impact of a particular program of the Department of Education or DepEd, you have to specify the program and specific department or region or district or school in which it is being implemented. Tip number four, state the respondents or participants of your study. The participants or respondents of your study could be students, teachers, administrators, can also be a group, and etc. Tip number five, state the geographical location or setting in which the study takes place. Now, for geographical location or setting, it could be in school, institution, library, laboratory, and etc. Tip number six, State the duration or time frame or school year or even the period of your study. Examples, five months, school year 2020 to 2021, first semester, second semester, or 
within the period of one year. Step number seven. The scope should be narrowed down to a certain section of the target population. Supposing that you have group of 50 students or equivalent to one section, it can also be one group for experimental group and another group for non-experimental group. It depends upon the nature of your study. Last tip, the delimitation section of the study should explain why specific choices were made while others were excluded and how this might affect the outcome of the research. You need to state why you as a researcher chose to study a sample population of 50 students, why you selected students from grade 11 and not grade 12, and why you chose students in a specific school over the other schools. So those are some tips on how you're going to write your scope and the limitation of your study. I hope that you can be able to consider all of those tips. Now, I have here an example of scope of the study. Assuming that our research title is the impacts of mobile games on the behavior of grade 11 students. So following the tips that I gave you a while ago, let's try to see if all the needed information are included in this particular part, specifically in this scope of the study. So let's read. This study will focus on the impacts of mobile games on the behavior of grade 11 students in Magsaysay High School. And by the way, this is just an example. So assuming that the name of the school is Magsaysay High School. The school year 2020-2021. The respondents of the study are the selected grade 11 UMS A students. There were 25 male students and 25 female students. A total of 50 respondents. The behaviors of grade 11 students will be observed for a period of six months or equivalent to one semester. The reason for choosing the grade 11 USA students as the respondents of the study is to determine and observe objectively the impacts of mobile games on their behaviors. Now, going back to the tips that I gave you a while back, let's try to determine if the needed information are incorporated in this particular part. Now, going back to questions what, who, where, and when. So, definitely, we have answered to the question what. To be specific, we have here the impacts of mobile games on the behavior of grade 11 students in Magsaysay High School. Okay, how about who? Okay, it will be answered by the selected grade 11 UMS A students. And to be specific, we have 25 male students and 25 female students with a total of 50 respondents. How about the question where? So the study will be conducted in Magsaysay High School. Okay, so it talks about the geographical location or the setting. How about the last question which is when? Okay, so it will be conducted or implemented during the school year of 2020-2021. And to be specific, it will be observed or the behaviors of grade 11 students will be observed for a period of six months or equivalent to 
one semester. So meaning this uh, example can give you an idea on how you're going to formulate your own scope of your study. So this is a very simple example but it can help you in writing your own scope of your study also i have here an example of delimitation of the study uh, join me in reading this example this study will only cover 50 grade 11 youth a students for the school year 2020 2021 Grade 11 and grade 12 students in different sections were not included in the study because the researcher only handled the grade 11 UMS A students. Moreover, due to limited time and lack of financial resources, the researcher only focused on grade 11 UMS A students to carry out a thorough observation and investigation so we have here reason why only the grade 11 UMS A students are chosen as the respondents of the study and accordingly the researcher is only handling the grade 11 UMS A students that's why non grade 11 UMS A students are excluded to be part of the respondents okay so in the delimitation of the study you need to specify the reasons why there is a need for you to only select the grade 11 UMS A and not to include the total population and uh, the reason or reasons must also be clear okay so it was stated here that due to lack of resources or financial resources and due to a very limited time so those are the reasons why only the grade 11 students were chosen. So I hope that uh, this scope and delimitation of your study, uh, specifically the sample, give you an idea on how you're going to formulate your own. Okay. All right. So this will be the results. Okay. So remember that the scope and delimitation of your study consists of the scope and the delimitation so for the, the first paragraph will refer to the scope while the second paragraph will refer to the delimitation of your study so as simple as that you can only have two paragraphs one for the scope and one for the delimitation of your study so I hope that my lecture today enlightened you on how you're going to uh, formulate your scope and delimitation of your study. These are also vital in doing or writing and writing your research paper or even your thesis and dissertations okay so to summarize my lecture for today remember the following tips in writing your scope and delimitation first write a short introduction in the scope and delimitation of your study the scope and delimitation of the study should answer the what who where and when questions the scope and the limitation of your study must be clear. Diba? Sabi nga ni Boy Abunda, dapat klarado. Okay? It must be clear. State the respondents or participants of your study. State the geographical location or setting in which the study takes place. State the duration or time frame or the school year or even period of your study. Next, the scope should be narrowed down to a certain section of the target population. So, if you are going to select uh, your advisory class as part of your experimental group, then you may select 
because you have always your choice to select uh, a group of your respondents. It can be experimental or non-experimental group. Okay, so it must be narrowed down into a certain section. Okay, to for you to focus, and then. The delimitation section of the study should explain why specific choices were made while others were excluded and how it affects the outcome of the research. So it will complete the scope and the limitation of your study. So that will be all for today. I hope that you learned a thing or two from my lecture. By the way, if you have questions related to our topic today, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and I will try my best to address or to answer your questions as soon as I can. Again, this is Dr. Lorna C. Velasquez sharing you this quote of Eugene Bell Jr. Aspire to inspire before you expire. See you again next time. God bless everyone. Bye.